Hey everybody, it's Kenta Lucas. I've got my boy Basel with me today. Hey. We're gonna do a couple French wines today, and we pulled a couple that we think are a little different, plus a couple that are probably fairly common for French wine. Um, I'll do the whites, Basel's gonna do the reds. First up, we're gonna do the Joseph Druin Chablis. Chablis is a village in the uh, Burgundy region of France, so it's gonna be a Chardonnay. These are unoaked Chardonnays. They are all about the earth and the fruit. These are minerality driven. They're beautiful fruit. They are not overly vanilla and oaky and all that. They are tropical in flavor. They're crisp, they're clean. One of our favorites for sure. Next up, this is gonna be a Chevronnay. Chevronnay, we're from, coming from the Loire Valley. This is a blend of Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. So imagine a wine that's weighted like a Chardonnay, full bodied, all of that, but yet flavored around Sauvignon Blanc. So it's got a citrusy note. Again, they're minerally driven because this part of uh, France and the Loire Valley, lots of seashells, that kind of thing really shows minerality in the wine. It's one of our favorites. Both of these are gonna come to you around 20 bucks. So we're not hitting out of the park, but yet great wines, great price points. So please. Sure. So on my end, we have first a uh, red Burgundy, something you might be a little more familiar with. It's gonna be Pinot Noir. Um, so you can usually expect these to be a little more earthy, not as heavy on the red fruit as you might get from a California. Um, so you can get a lot of, uh, you know, usually kind of mushroomy notes. You might get some earth. There's always that classic barnyard, they might call it. Um, you also get a little bit of fruit coming through, you know, some nuanced strawberry and cherry, um, but still very awesome. Always worth trying that if you're used to California. Um, the this other- This one's a little mellower. Sorry, I didn't oh, mean yeah. to interrupt. No, you're good, you're good. For a lot of- this style of wine, Pinot Noirs from France, they will show a lot of barnyard. This one just a touch. So this one, don't be scared of that. Some of these are really funky. This one, just a touch. So please, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're fine. Um, the other guy we got here is the uh, 1911. Uh, this is going to be from the Rhone. It's got a uh, lot of different grapes in it. Usually Rhone, you're just gonna see some Syrah and Grenache, uh, Cinso, some other stuff in there. This guy's got 14 different grapes in there, a bunch of which are very obscure, but you're gonna get a very cool uh, full body from it. Some nice red fruit. It's very concentrated because it's got so much going on. Um, so that'll make it nice and accessible to you. Um, this guy's really cool though, just for how complex it is. Awesome. So guys, please come in. Ask us about these wines. We've got tons of other things in this kind of price point slash a little different. That's what we're looking for here at Lucas. And always, thank you for your business, one bottle at a time. And you notice, Joe's not in this video. 